The community we're working in is named Chuikutama. It's in the Western Highlands. Sometimes we take the bus up and it's, there's no paved road, so it's all a bumpy ride up this mountain. And once you get to the top, it's just hills on hills on hills. There's corn everywhere. I mean, there's corn everywhere. It's green, and the sky, when the clouds clear, the skies are so, so blue, so crystal blue. Okay, the contrast between the poverty and, and the beauty is probably the most alarming thing. The communities are small, very remote. They keep their culture still. There's their Mayan language, and they wear the traditional Mayan clothing. Um, and walking into their homes, it's a it's a one room house. First time I went, I remember I thought I understood. I really didn't. Even though they have nothing, they're the they're happy people and they're kind. The people there I found to be probably some of the happiest, joyful, uh, curious, and um, and pretty religious too. The first projects we did were building stoves. Lack of an oven, you know, it's, there is stuff just dripping from the beams and from the walls because there's no place for the smoke to go. We asked them what else we could do, and so that's when they asked for the community center that we built in Chikutama, and then also with that, the sanitation system. For a septic tank to handle for the whole village, that's a pretty big septic tank. I went this summer and we, were, uh, we asked them what the next step was. They're moving on to looking at possibly a, a, a high school. A member of a family receiving a secondary education opens doors for them to possibly break away from a subsistence type of living. They appreciate what we do and how they want to be a part of it, and it's really, you know, us working together. A real relationship has been built between Aldersgate and the people of Chukutama. That call that Christ gave us, he told us to go out and put his church in the, in the world. The money from the church is going straight towards the services that are given to these people. It's going to the materials that we're buying. I don't think there's a lot of times where you give and you can see a school being built or a sanitation project being done or stoves being built. If Jason wasn't involved, we wouldn't have done uh, the projects we've done, particularly to the scale that, that we did. Best experiences of going it was is getting to know Jason and seeing the passion that he has for the project and the passion that he has for the people. Because it's his legacy. We prayerfully consider and give during the Lent season. 